Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I posted this question in the GHL Mastery Facebook group, and I just got bombarded with comments saying, yes, I need to learn how to do this. I need to learn how to do this. And that is email deliverability. Now, this is a big issue. Um, if you're using LC email and you don't do the steps that I'm about to show you, your emails are going to end up in spam. And before I dive in, I want to show you guys exactly why that's happening. Um, so that you guys can go in and you can fix it, uh, both from the agency level and the sub account level, so that your emails will land in the inbox more often than not. So without further ado, I am going to dive right into this and we are going to set up a brand new email domain for a client of mine uh, who just happens to be my brother-in-law. Um, so I have no problem sharing this with you guys. So let's dive in. Let's get the screen share going. As always, if you are watching this live, let me know. Um, and if you are not, just comment and let me know that you're watching it on the replay so that I know that you guys are here, you're watching stuff, and you're getting value out of what I'm showing you. So let's get your emails into the inbox and out of spam. So here we go. This is what happens when you send an email from high level. So if this is what's happening to you and your emails are ending up in spam, um, we're going to show you guys how to fix it. Now, I want to address this. So if you are using Mailgun, you may or may not have this problem, but if you are using the LC email system, you may have this problem right out of the gate because what's happening here, uh, just to educate everybody a little bit, is that when you send an email from the LC email system, it is sending from, let me show you, via mg.messagesender.org. Now this domain is obviously owned by Go High Level. And so that is a shared domain for anybody that is using the LC email system, which means that you may be doing everything right by having validated emails and sending them out to people. But what happens is that the domain itself gets blacklisted which is very likely what's happening now because when we don't do what I'm about to show you, every single email that we send from a brand new estimator account goes directly to spam. Um, and that is because it's being sent via this domain. So there's two things that you need to do in order to get that to stop happening. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is something that we've already done ourselves. So there's going to be less walkthrough, but I'm going to show you the exact same process inside of a sub account. So what you need to do is you need to go into your settings and email services at the agency level. If you want to override the mg.messagecenter.org and have your own, you need to do this at the agency level. And what this is going to do is that if you go into location settings, I'm going to show you the one that we're going to be doing today. They're going to be set up with the provider as lead connector, which means they're not directly connected to my Mailgun account. They are connected to high levels Mailgun account. Um, and so by default, if anybody, any one of your clients in location settings says lead connector, by default, it's going to be mg.messagesender.org, which is probably going to put you in the spam list. So first thing you need to do is you need to do this at the agency level first. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to do this in the, um, sub account level because it's exactly the same process here. The only difference is that this one here is going to be your agency's primary mailing domain. Um, you do want to be a little bit careful with this because if you have clients that are sending sp like spam emails to mass lists, that is going to impact your primary domain. So you may want to consider buying a new domain just for this purpose alone, um, like put an .io or a dot org or something behind your domain, because this is going to be used as the default sending domain for every sub account that gets created inside go high level. So that's the first thing that you need to do. Now I'm going to show you this process in my brother-in-law's sub account, because I need to set this up for him anyways. So let's go into here and we're going to go to Eagle Eye Carpentry right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go into settings and we're going to go to email services. And again, this is going to look very familiar because it's exactly the same thing as it is at the agency level inside here. So the default right now is lead connector, but I have set it up so that the default email sending is email.estimator.tools. So we are going to go and we are going to add a service. 
Ah, oh, fun bags. Okay, one second. Let's uh, hang on a second. Let's go back here. Let's go to settings. I should be able to set this up as an individual account level setting, but if not, oh, hang on. I was in the wrong. I was in the wrong spot. One second. Let's go back. We're gonna go to settings, email services. I clicked on add service. We want a dedicated domain. That's the difference right there. We are going to add a domain. Now I manage this domain myself. So what we are going to do, you can add any sort of subdomain here that you want. Um, obviously they give you the example of mg.mydomain. That's just a mail gun standard. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You could put whatever you want in here. So for example, email dot eagle I Carpentry. Oh man, I always suck at spelling when I'm on the line here. Dot ca. Okay, I spelled that right. Carpentry. Dot ca. Perfect. Now you're just going to click this add and verify button. Now again, I want to reiterate that you should do this at the agency level with your own domain, and you should do this at the sub account level with your clients as well. So um, best if you can to get access to their domain so that you can do this under their domain so that they're sending from domain matches their domain. Um, and then the other thing that that's going to do is it's also going to not penalize you if they send bulk messages through their own domain. Um, it's not going to hurt you. So uh, let's go into my GoDaddy account. We're going to go set up DNS. Now this is going to be the, it's going to be slightly different um, depending on which domain provider you guys are using. But uh, for the most part, this is exactly the same as always. So we're going to go add a new record. And we're just going to go back over here and it makes it super simple. You're going to go from here and you're going to go all the way to the dot. Just don't copy the dot here. We're going to copy that over. We're going to put this as a, what is it? TXT record. So we're going to go TXT. We're going to name it that. So again, notice that I did not put the dot. You don't want to put the dot on this to create this subdomain. And then you're going to copy this value string right here. And you're going to put it in there and you're just going to hit save. And you're going to do this for every single one of these records. So let's go to the next one. And that is email. Again, do not copy the dot. We're going to go over there. I'm actually not even going to, I'm just going to type that out. It's just as easy. It's another TXT record. So we're going to go there. We're going to go email and we're going to send it to there. Hit save add a new record. You basically just got to go through this whole list. We're now going to add a C name, email dot email, and it's going to go to mailgun.org. And that one is a C name. All right, perfect. So let's go and add the C name, email dot email. And let's go back here because I'm lazy and I always suck at typing when I'm doing these live. We're just going to copy that and we're going to paste it in there and click save. Add a new record, and we're going to do the last two, MXA, MXB. Um, and again, those are emails. So I'm just going to copy that. And these are MX records. We are going to go email, priority 10, and the value is mxa.mailgun.org. Now, I'm going to show you this because this is MXA and MXB. Now, there is a little trick to this if you're doing this in Google domains. You actually want to, I could show you that on a, on a, maybe on a different live, but with your MXA and MXB, um, you're not going to be adding separate records. If you're using Google domains, you're going to add one record um, and you're going to actually type it out like this. So your priority field doesn't exist in Google domains. Um, so you'll type it out like this if you're using Google domains, and then you are going to add another record directly to this same record here. Um, there's a little, it's, it looks like this one where you would add a value and then you're going to do your MXB in there. But in this case with GoDaddy, I am not going to do that. So you're going to hit save. So now I've got all of these records in here right now, and we're going to click verify domain. Now this could take a minute. Um, if it does just keep on hitting. Well, that didn't take a minute at all. How awesome is that? Verify the domain. So th this will happen every so often where it goes from verified to not verified, verified to not verified, um, and can take up to five I've never had it take longer than a couple minutes. And then you're going to end up here. And basically at this point, you are done. Um, this SSL certificate is going to basically get initiated 
within a couple of minutes. But now every email that gets sent from this sub account is going to be sent via email dot eagle um, So again, I want to just stress now that I'm done showing you guys what this is. You need to do this at your agency level so that you're not using the mg.messagesender.org. Um, use your own domain so that you're not getting locked into the spam that everybody else is sending um, because those will end up in the spam inbox. We literally just did this last night for um, one of our personal estimator accounts because every time we were demoing a, or testing the estimator, they ended up straight in spam. So we went in and we set our domain level at the agency level so that all of our sub accounts that are using LC are using our domain. Um, and then we went in and we updated the domain inside that sub account as well. So there you go, guys, if you do those two things, which is the, it's the exact same process, whether you're at the agency level or the sub account level, if you do those two things, your emails should have a much better chance of ending up in the inbox instead of in spam from using that message center.org domain. So hopefully that was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments below. Um, and as always, if you guys have questions and you're in the GHL mastery group, please ask them. I love doing videos like these for you guys to show you guys how to work around and navigate inside go high level. Um, I love creative problems um, as well so that I can create creative solutions for you guys. So ask your questions. Um, I'd love to answer them. And if you are looking for dedicated help inside Go High Level, consider joining our VIP group. It's currently $97 a month. It will be going up to $297 at the end of the month. So get in now while it's cheap. And what we do in the VIP group is we go live every Wednesday and every other Monday to help you guys literally build inside your account over a live zoom call and we're there to help every single one of you guys grow inside the vip group so if you are interested in that you can go to agency.estimator.tools slash join vip and we would love to see you in there with that being said guys we will see you on the next one take care